Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. Today I'm going to show you three simple steps to overcome any objection. If objections are something that make you insecure, nervous, or maybe you're afraid of, after this video you're going to understand them a little better. This is going to change your life. Okay guys, so let's get into how to overcome with three simple ways any objection. Now, I want you to understand this, okay? Objections are something that most salespeople fear. I don't know why. Because people have to give an objection unless they're a lay down before they buy something. So listen, if you're a salesperson, salesman, saleswoman, you've been doing this for 25 years, you've been doing this for one week, I want you to understand this. This entire video you want to watch because if you fear or feel maybe self-doubt or unsure in yourself when objections start flying in, this video is going to explain to you that objections really aren't that big. They can and they will completely allow you to lose your entire sale. But if handled properly, you will sell more cars than you ever imagined. So number one, let's start out, and this is what I call the backbone. This is very important for you to understand. This is the backbone of overcoming any objection, okay? The customer feeling that they need to move forward. Please take a pen and a piece of paper, write this down. The customer buys when they have the feeling that they're at the right place, okay? The deal could be right, you could be the right salesperson, I've got the right car, but if I don't have that right feeling, I'm not going to buy. So I want you to understand this. Write this down. The customer feeling, that's a way that they feel. People make decisions logically and with their gut. This is them feeling that they need to move forward. Okay? How do they know if they want to move forward? Because they feel like it. How will they feel like it? Because the unsureness needs to be handled by the salesperson. So a salesperson knows that their customer at some point during the sale is going to be unsure about something. And when they start to feel that unsureness, I want you as a salesperson to be able to handle that and to show them that it's okay and this is the right place and that you're here at the right time and it's not a matter of if you're going to buy but when and the when is when the deal's right, right? I'm here, you're here, the car's here. You want to reassure them that they are in the right place. It is a feeling. When objections come up, I want you to understand this. Man, this customer might be feeling a little bit unsure. Please write this down. Now, whose job is it to handle the unsureness? It's the salesperson. Never forget this. Every no is one step closer to a yes. Sometimes I won't get a yes until after the ninth. Yes, I said nine. That's one number before ten. The ninth attempt. That's me asking for someone's business. And by the way, when they tell me no, I don't change my state. I don't change my demeanor. I'm not going to get startled. I don't get combative with it. I don't ask them, why did you um, not want to do this deal when it all makes sense? Remember what I said a minute ago? People make decisions logically and with their gut. So even though the deal makes sense and it's a great deal, or maybe you think it's a great deal, if the customer doesn't feel that way, they're the one spending their money. So what do they do? They hand you an objection. But anytime you get an objection, you can understand that this is your time to understand. They may be feeling unsure about something. It's time for you to step in and get it. And by the way, sometimes and in the life of buying something, no's are just part of the deal. We just say no, or we just give objections when we really want to own it. Why? Because that's our human nature, right? It's, it's, we call it a stall tactic, but it's actually just a programmed response that when we feel like we're going to spend money, we just naturally start throwing out objections because sometimes we really just want to test a salesperson to see like, damn man, like is this deal right? Like is this really the right deal for me? And you, based on the way that you handle it, We'll determine that with them, okay? All right, let's get into the three steps. We're going to go one, two, three. And by the way, this video, if you will just slow down and watch it and take notes as you're going through this, remember this, 30% of what you don't write down is what you'll retain. 90% of what you write down, you'll retain. You want to retain 90% of this video? Stop, get your pen, get your piece of paper, write everything down I teach you. Guys, I'm about to get right back to the video. I want to tell you number one, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you like what you're watching right now. Click the button, give me a thumbs up on it, comment below, anything you need I got you. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, set your notification bell so every single day when I put out brand new cutting edge training videos, you can get them. All right, so three simple steps to overcoming every objection. We went through the backbone here. This is gonna be repeating the objection. Okay, 
This is a simple way to understand this. People, when they get heard, they want to listen. Write it down. Repeat the objection back to them. When people get heard, they want to listen. Can I ask you a question? Do you want to listen to anybody that won't listen to you? No. You think about it. I, I ask so many salespeople, I say, hey man, so when somebody says this objection to you, what do you say? They say, man, I just ignore it, dude. Just act like I didn't even hear it. I'm like, what? Why would you do that? Oh, because it works. No, it doesn't. Just so you're aware of this, it's 2020, guys. People want to feel more significant now than ever. You know what people want to feel? Certainty. Okay, And you know how they feel that? They feel that by you listening to them. And by the way, great closers can listen to what somebody's saying so they actually know how to overcome it instead of letting people just talk and then racing back out to try to say whatever they can to try to get through it. That's called winging it. So rule number one right here. They repeat the objection. You repeat the objection back to them. So let me give you an example. So the guy says, hey, I need to think about it. I say, hey, man, of course you need to think about it. Now, I haven't overcame it yet, but I'm about to overcome it. But I repeat it back to him. I say, well, of course you need to think about it. And then I would go into, and I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. And I would move into my deal, but number one, I repeat the objection back to them. He knows he's been hurt. A guy says, hey, man, I think the price is too high. I say, I understand. And when you say the price is too high... Would you mind being more specific? Why you believe the price is too high? Now it allows him to explain to me what it is that he's saying so I can surface a real objection and overcome it. But I always neutralize and agree. So you know what happens? When objections come in, what do people want to do? Guy says, hey, I need to think about it. You know, hey, I'll get back with you. You know, whatever, I'm hungry. I don't care what it is. Always repeat the objection back to them. And then, after that point, now they know that they've been heard, they'll listen to you. The second part is, the second you repeat it back to them, you want to agree and neutralize. Neutralize means this. Don't get combative with them. Okay? Don't get defensive. Look, I put some side notes out here to the side. And you notice one of them, I put no combativeness, and the second one is maintain your state. You know what maintaining your state means? Maintaining your states means don't get fluttered. Don't get um, frustrated. Don't flinch. You know what flinching means? It means something where, man, you just kind of you know, snap out of it for just a second. And they see that. And guess what happens? You worked really hard for the last hour, making them fall in love with you, right? You're going through the process. You're showing them the vehicle. You're showing them the value. You're showing them that you're the person they need to buy, buy from. And you're, you're the best person in the world that they should do business with. And then for the first time, they say something that you don't want to hear. Guess what you do? You flinch. You change your state. And when you change your state, what happens? You push them back to being unsure that they have found the right person. And guess what happens also? This feeling of moving forward goes away. Why does it go away? It goes away because you made that happen. So, no matter what they say, when an objection comes in, repeat it back to them. Let them know that they've been heard. And then secondly, agree. Neutralize. I understand. When you say the price is too high, guess what? Would you mind being a little more specific why you think the price is too high? And guess what happens? It's non-combative. The other guy down the road says, the guy says, man, I think the price is too high. And he goes, why do you think it's too high? And now all of a sudden, I'm challenging the guy. And you may say, Andy, that's not challenging him. That's me just asking him why he thinks it's too high. And I say, I understand. But the fact is, it's 2020. People are more sensitive now than they've ever been. And guess what? They're waiting for a salesperson like you to come up and challenge them. And when they see you challenging them, what will they do? They'll back off. They get unsure, and they lose the feeling. This video will save your life if you will get this down. But repetition is the mother of skill. This isn't how and what to say to overcome an objection. This is to truly understand for the first time in your life what objections are, how they come in, and how you need to act and stay when they're entering the sell process, okay? So let's move into number three here. Let's bounce into the last one. And this could be one of my very favorite, which will go into everything that we've talked about so far. Overcome with a smile and smiling eyes. Guys, and I don't know how well you can see this camera right here, but look at my eyes. Are my eyes smiling? Yes, man. Look, I'm not the best looking guy in the world. You know what I can do? I can smile. Look, see my teeth? See my eyes? I'm pleasant. I'm happy. 
When the objections come in, when I'm selling, I'm the same way. Andy, I'm not paying that. I understand. I don't change. Don't change your state in any way, shape, or form. This is a time for you to create bulletproof confidence in who you are and to understand that objections are something that we're no longer going to fear. Okay? Overcome with a smile and smiling eyes. Real important, stay positive. Okay? Don't for a second even show an ounce of even something that could show a just a smudge of negativity or combativeness. And then, don't get startled. When I say this word startled, that means caught off guard, which I put right here. People, they'll say stuff to you to challenge you. Guess what? Whenever you don't change your state and you stay positive, you don't get caught off guard, guess what they'll do? They'll adapt. And now they're not unsure, and they feel like it's the right place to buy the car, and you've done such an outstanding job, even when they didn't make it easy on you, guess what? The sale's yours. Guys, we don't want it to be easy. Laydowns are easy. You know what? Laydowns come one out of every 20. The other 19 can be won over by every step in this video. And lastly, don't fear objections. Don't fear it. How do you not fear an objection? It's real easy. You understand that an objection is something that people give to you before they buy. They're going to give it to you. Now, an objection is also something that somebody will give to you if they feel unsure or they don't feel the feeling that they're in the right place. So even though logically it could be the right deal, if they don't feel it in their gut, they're not gonna pass go. Guys, I hope you love this video. This video will literally change your life when you view objections. And remember, don't fear any of this as long as you follow these simple steps. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching the full video. I started when I was 18 training just like you, no matter where you're at in life. I want to tell you this, being committed is all that it takes. I put out free training content on YouTube every single day to make sure that I can take you to the next level of life. I have over 500 free videos. Please make sure that you like the video. Shoot me a comment below and shoot me a text message. I'd love to get to know you, okay? If I haven't met you yet, 918-210-0254. Take a second, guys, shoot me a text message. You're important to me. I have your back for life. We're gonna go all the way to the top together. I appreciate you. you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and set your alerts for the daily training video. Thank you.